Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our God is full of surprises and chooses the most unlikely people as well as places and means. God seems to choose the most unlikely people to proclaim the good news. We know the story of Jonah. Jonah tried to escape from God but could not. God said go but Jonah said no. It was the second time that God had called Jonah. Jonah's experience has a lesson for us. Like Jonah, we may not have responded the first time. God chooses us to proclaim the good news. We may not have responded to God's direction for us, but God still calls out to us. In fact, whatever stage of our lives we are in, there are appointed times when God calls out to us and waits for our response. Eventually, Jonah responded. When the appointed time came for Simon and Andrew, for James and John, they too responded and did what God wanted of them. Christ's way sometimes seems to be the opposite to ours. Jonah knew that God was merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and relenting from disaster. But that message was the opposite of what Jonah thought. He did not want to share that message with the Ninevites although that was what they needed to hear and what God stood ready to give to them. But the will of God will never take us to where the grace of God will not protect us, in that we will be at peace. God will do whatever it takes to bring his boundless love to the nations. He will never let us down and he is not bound by our obedience or disobedience. God will turn a trial into a blessing and will teach us lessons that he wants us to learn. God doesn't just want us to suffer, rather he wants us to become strong in God's good time, he will rescue us from our difficulties and we will have a story to tell like Jonah. The Lord is the very center of our lives. It is in him alone that the value of our life, time, work and the precious gift of other people will be found again and again into eternity. God bless you all.